Rock, you were speaking of our host. I don't want to never see no more police in my life. We have exclusive footage of the oak tree that dropped the acorn that sent an Okaloosa deputy into a hilarious but deadly mag dump spectacle. But before we watch this video dropped by Sunshine Accountability, you got to realize that this deputy is being called the dumbest cop in the country for good reason. People say he's got the accuracy level of a stormtrooper from Star Wars. They claim he's the only cop who wrestled imaginary Call of Duty ghosts and lost. All over the world, Okaloosa, Florida Deputy Jesse Hernandez is being memed into internet oblivion because his sensitivity to a falling acorn caused him to open fire on disarmed and cuffed Marquise Jackson, who was locked up and sitting in the back seat of Hernandez patrol cruiser. Let's put it this way. His reaction would have been less funny if performed by Rocky and Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle, he's a dummy. Please, Rock, you were speaking of our host. It would have never gained this much traction and interest if it was performed by Eddie Murphy in a Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> Before we get to Sunshine Accountability's video, just in case you've been buried under an oak tree for the past week, let me get you up to speed. This is Deputy Hernandez walking back to his vehicle while Sergeant Beth Roberts was finishing up a report. As simultaneously painful and hilarious as this is, there was some speculation as to whether there was even an acorn present that precipitated this Pee Wee Herman reaction. I meant to do that. But as we zoom in on the vehicle, sure enough, it does look like an object dropped onto the vehicle. Shots fired! Shots fired! And this is the point at which Scaredy Cat Hernandez empties his magazine into the back seat of his patrol cruiser while he yells, shots fired, and screams, I'm hit, I'm hit. Antics like this and the cartoonish noises he was making like, and would be hilarious if it wasn't for the fact that his wild response could have gotten an innocent man and other people in the neighborhood killed. I don't want to never see no more police in my life. His sergeant, convinced that he had been hit, even though there was no evidence to confirm this, also began to riddle the patrol car with lead, giving no thought to the mobile home park behind the vehicle. Do you know your tag number off the top of your head? Okay, it's okay. What? What? Oh. Where? Right there? If you listen really, really close, right after Sergeant Roberts says, do you know your tag number right off the top of your head, you can actually hear the sound of the acorn on her body camera better than on Hernandez. Listen. Do you know your tag number off the top of your head? Okay, okay. it's okay. Here's the sound multiple times isolated. I didn't catch that the first time I reviewed this video. We're not told how many shots were fired, but I'm guessing at least 20 or 30. That's 20 to 30 projectiles that could have easily hit somebody. Now there were questions whether this tree was an oak, which is the only tree that drops acorns. The type of tree was verified by Sunshine Accountability. Here's his video. All right, here's the scene of the acorn mishap. Here's the tree. It is an oak tree. Uh, I don't see any acorns on it at all. No, any acorns on the ground. Yeah, there's some acorns down there, so. This could be the acorn, guys. <laughs> Shots fired. They got a piece of paper up here. Say acorn. Shots fired. <laughs> and 
animals. I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway, but that's the, uh, this is what was behind that car that that lady was shooting at. This is where that officer rolled around over here. I guess that's where that girl was at, the female officer. But yeah, it is an oak tree. Didn't look like one, but, and that limb was probably hanging over his car. I don't think it was any frequency weapons. But look behind, look what's in the backstop of where that female officer was shooting. A business, some trailer homes over there. It's just crazy how she just unloaded. Not even a, a care what was behind the car. Crazy. But this video's for you, Brian. I know you were wondering, and I live in the area, so I had to come and check it out. I really appreciate Sunshine Accountability for going out there and doing that. The insane thing about this is that somebody could have easily died and it's a miracle that they didn't. Here we have yet another stark example where cops aren't as concerned about protecting and serving as they are being careless and recklessly endangering people. And endangering people seems to be something cops excel at. I'll leave the Sunshine Accountability link in the description. If you visit him, let him know here's the deal sent you. In the meantime, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design. We've got a brand new design in the store right now called Road Pirates Violate Your Rights. Get it while you still can because they have a habit of taking my designs down. Also, become a channel member. But more importantly, know what your rights are, fight for your rights, and constantly exercise your rights. If you don't exercise those rights, you will lose them. Yeah, I get it. Freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having freedom. I'll see you in the next video. Get back in your vehicle. What is going on? I'll tell you. Why get are back. you following me? Get back in your vehicle. Take your aggression way down. Are you? Are way you, down. Dude, I don't know who's following me. I am. Okay. What's going on? Identify yourself. I'm Deputy Weed with the Clark County Sheriff's Excellent. Office. Excellent. Twice. You made an illegal user in following yes. me. I, I made a turn. Ah. Can I show you what I was on? I don't care what you were on. I observed you following me twice. You did an illegal user. And when you me? noticed me, you started running from me. Would you like to speak to my, my supervisor? Did I ask for it? No. No. I'm talking to you. So next time, when you break the law, you better watch yourself. I'm going to be watching you. You work for me. Obey the law. You break the law, you're going to deal with the citizen. Me. Did I make myself clear? Did I make myself clear? This is not how this goes. Shut the hell up. It's exactly how this is going to go. You got a problem with that? You better call somebody here way above your rank.